All right, I'm going to go over how to set up your navigation. So once you install the theme, you'll notice that you have a big blank spot on the top right where your navigation should be. Um, and so this is how to set it up. Let's go to our dashboard. And then under appearance and menus, we're going to create a new menu. So go ahead and just click create new menu. Or you can use your existing one. Um, if you don't have a menu set up, it'll automatically just pull in all the pages for you. But let's go ahead and create a new, pay, a new menu. And let's call this uh, main navigation. And click create menu. So once we've done that, all we need to do is view all of our pages and start adding them to our menu. So we can do things like our home page, um, contact us, full width, for example. And then you can click save menu. And then once you view your site, it will still be blank. And the reason for that is that you're missing one last step. And that's under this manage locations. And that's just listing out all of your menu menus. Thankfully, we only have one, so it should be really easy. And you will select your menu, and you'll likely only have one as well. So you can click Save Changes there. Then when we refresh our page, our menu is now set up. So um, let's go ahead and go over how to adjust the menu. So for instance, if you want to change the order, you can just drag and drop. To adjust the order, you can always just keep adding more pages or less pages as you need. And then um, let's say, for instance, this home tagline is really long and ugly. Excuse me. Um, you can adjust this by clicking these arrows for additional options. And for navigation label, for instance, we can just make that home. Click Save Menu. Now when we refresh our page, you can see the home is a um, really nice uh, shortened version of what you see on your homepage title. So <clears throat> let's go over how to make drop downs. Drop downs are super easy to make. You can just select a menu and drop it over to the right a little so it's indented. And what this means, it'll add this label is contact us is now a sub item of full width. So let's go and do the same thing for two column portfolio. You can save them. And you'll notice they disappeared from the menu because they're now in the sub menu. And you can actually keep making additional sub menus. I think we have it to uh, either three or four um, that we support. So as you need, you can just adjust them over. And if you want to no longer make it a sub menu, you can just drag it out. So it's really easy to make these sub menus. Um, then, of course, if you don't want to have a page, let's say, oh, I don't want to call a portfolio anymore, you can click the drop down and click remove. Then save your menu and you've now removed it. So the menu should be pretty easy to set up, you know, drag and drop and create, create your sub menus as you need.